And now one of the things I was looking most forward to at WPPI, let me give you some background. Back in August, I was at Photoshop World and I met with the folks from Platypod. You've heard me probably mention Platypod before. I think it's one of the best engineered photography products on the market. If you haven't checked it out, make sure that you go to platypod.com url right here and uh, that will give you all the information on it i'm not sponsored by platypod let me make that clear this is not a paid ad i just happen to think the product is really well engineered well dr t larry from platypod has now invented another product it's called platyball you can go to platyball.com let's do this again it's right there right and that will take you to the kickstarter campaign and here's why this matters the kickstarter campaign ends march 15th that's three days after this video goes live, so you're running out of time. If you're watching this video, check your calendar, head to the Kickstarter campaign. Again, platyball.com will take you right to the Kickstarter campaign, and you can get in on it at the discount. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy it after the fact if you want one. And let me just say this. I don't want to spoil the interview, but as photography products go... This completely changes the way that you will think about a tripod head or what most people think of as a ball head. All right, so last time I was at WPPI, I had the pleasure of speaking with this gentleman because you've heard me say it on the show before, I absolutely love Platypod products. If you're not familiar with the Platypod itself, either the large one or the small one, you got to check them out. It's literally one of the best engineered products I've seen, but wanted to stop by and talk to Dr. T, Larry from uh, Platypod again, about this. So first of all, Larry, how are you? Okay, nice of you to come by and uh, we'll talk about our products a little you've bit. Got some, you've got such amazing stuff. You and I have had Thank this you, conversation Steve. privately. Real quick before we get into the ball head, for those that don't know Platypod, haven't seen one before, just give the helicopter view on what is a Platypod. Platypod's the world's most compact tripod. It's one that you can keep anywhere with you to get low angle photography, tabletop photography, just to have with you when you go on vacation because there's so many places that you go that won't allow tripods. This is a great way to avoid the tripod police. And our platypods will handle any tripod head that you can put on this. Plus, there's a special tripod head that you're gonna to wanna to hear about. Yeah, that's the thing. And by the way, these are actually one of the coolest things when you buy it, play with those, because they're really, honestly, really neat. Little so, spikes for rock the, and concrete. Yeah. For rock and concrete, but for leveling it, all kinds of stuff. So now let's talk about the, the elephant in the room. There is a Kickstarter going on for the Platypod ball head called the Platyball. And I had the privilege, because of you, back at Photoshop World 2019, to play with a prototype of this, and I've gotta say, I don't know why this wasn't invented before. This is a one-handed ball head. Instead of holding your camera while turning a knob so your camera does, this is one-handed. Show us the ball head and explain it to us. All right, so first let's mount the ball head on. We've got a steel reinforced hole in here, which by the way, our base is carabiner friendly. You can see I've got a platter ball on here. Oh, I was wondering on a why carabiner. the holes. Okay. Yeah, that's why we've got the holes. Everything, everything that we do is is carabiner friendly. So it's it's great for hikers and mountain climbers and all that. So first, to mount it on, very very simple, and you can tighten it on there real nicely. Then, what we've done is we've gotten rid of all the knobs. You're no longer going to be fumbling for for knobs over here because all the controls are right where your hands are going to fall. And you can't see it from the camera, but there's even a control under his thumb. I'll get, I'll get around to that in, in one second, one second. So, to unlock it, you pump our bottom button, you unlock. You pump the top button, it locks. And when you feel the tension in your fingers, it's getting nice and tight, you're ready to take your camera, mount your camera. Any ARCA-compatible plate will work with the Platyball. You just slip that on top, you twist our little collar on here, and you're ready to shoot. If you untwist it like that, and we have a little safety on there to prevent it from untwisting accidentally, you'll be able to remove your camera. I'll keep that off just so you can see the functions very, very easily. To unlock the panning, your thumb will fall on this little wheel here. You pull it back a little bit, half an inch or so, 
and you can fluid pan very nice and just smoothly. Saying. Just feel that, Steve, how nice and easy that, that and, goes and, back and, and forth. And it's smooth and easy, but it's not loose. Correct. Right? It's Correct. got a you little, get a little bit of, almost like a, like a fluid head. If you've ever played with a fluid head, that's kind of what that feels like. Correct. Now, see, then you lock it like that. Now, one of the biggest problems we have with most ball heads is the little bubble level is usually obscured by either your camera or your lens, Usually, or it's nighttime. Oh, it's, it's always. I was being kind. Yeah. Okay. Now what we've done is we have what's going to be a new patented design with the world's first electronic leveling system. And to use this very, very simply, just going to unlock this again, is you just want to use it like an artificial horizon. And when you get all four arrows in the center leveled, you are leveled and ready to shoot, just like that. So it's kind of like okay. what you would see on the back of an LCD screen of a camera when you pull a level up, but the advantage is, if you're doing live view, a lot of times you have to leave that to go bring up the level, and here, everything while your camera is mounted, one-handed, can see the level as you do it. It's Plus, if you're in the corner of a room, like many of our architectural photographers will put this on a shelf, your camera is facing this way. With many cameras, you can't see the monitor in the back right, anymore. Right. Mine just folds like this the very most, okay? That's on a Nikon D850. So you can't see that, but now you'll be able to level from the front uh, in, in this way very well. Now, for those who feel that they don't need that, we have a second model. Okay. Called a plat this is called a Platable Elite. This one's called a Platable Ergo. The only difference being this one doesn't have the electronic leveling. Otherwise, all the controls are the same. It's a one ounce weight difference. This is one pound five ounces. This is one pound six ounces. The function, all the mechanical functions are completely independent of the electronics. So if for any reason your battery goes out, everything here is modular. So the, electron the mechanical portion is completely independent. It'll still function perfectly. This is so you see what I'm saying. I don't know why this wasn't invented before, but this is why Larry exists. First the Platyball, first the Platypod in two sizes, and now the Platyball. And once that camera's on there, again, it's tight. I can put it to where I can put this at an angle I want. If you don't want level, don't go level, right? You can put tension on it and not worry about your camera falling. Correct. And then very easily, you can just loosen it, put it where you want loose, tighten it again, all one-handed, no knobs. Right, and once, once we're ready for full production, we're gonna have this rated to 22 pounds capacity. And what that means is, we're gonna test this, we're gonna actually hang about 35 pounds off of this sideways, come back five hours later, and it's gonna be right where you started when we're, when we're done. So, so it'll be a heavy duty unit. That's the Platyball. Uh, Kickstarter, where can they go? Go to, to make it easy so you don't have to search for anything, just go to platyball.com, P-L-A-T-Y-B-A-L-L.com, and that will shoot you straight to our Kickstarter page. That's available till March 15th. After that, the price on this goes up $75 more uh, on March uh, 16th. And, so. and seriously, this is not a paid ad. I'm walking around here, I know Larry, I like Larry, and I love his products. I just think it's really, really cool. I think this will or has the potential to revolutionize ball heads. Uh, it's it's that neat, and you'll know what I mean once you play with it. So again, Larry, it is always good to see you, my Thank friend. You, I appreciate it. WPBI 2020, let's walk around and see what else we can find. Thanks a lot.